In this video, we'll take a look at how you can improve plant operations by using XHQ to visualize the process and batch data collected from a batch process. This batch process is controlled by a Siemens Somatic PCS7 control system with Somatic Batch. Let's take a closer look at the batch process. There are two material feed tanks. The material from these tanks are fed to the mix tank. This mixture is then heated and agitated and then discharged into a product tank for further processing. In the PCS7 environment, we have a detailed view of the batch process. Here you see the Somatic PCS7 operating system interface. What you don't see is that you cannot easily evaluate the performance of different batches of the same product with time. This is where XHQ can help. XHQ enables the user to create a simplified process graphic view to reflect the previous PCS7 detailed schematic. From this view, we can navigate to different screens to quickly see if there is any batch-to-batch -batch performance degradation over time. When we click the link to Batch Explorer, we see all batches that were run of the same product. We can apply various filters to see specific batches. Ideally, there should not be any differences in their execution times. But as you can see here, the runtime of batch 216 is about two-thirds that of batch 215. Let's select the mixer vessel R1002 and examine batches 215 and 216 to find out why. Here we see the batch analyzer view where you can select and compare two batches. By doing this, we can clearly see differences between the run of batch 215 and 216. The heat phase of batch 215 was twice as long as 216. To find out why the heat phase is longer, we can open the multi-trender. The multi-trender compares key parameters of a phase across batches. RPM, material in reactor, and mixer temperature to determine possible causes of these differences. The results show the reason for the longer runtime of batch 215 is likely the temperature of the mixture when the heat phase begins. With this information, operations can now decide how to fix the issue. You've just seen how XHQ can dynamically access data from a DCS, in this case the Siemens Somatic PCS7 Process Historian, provide the tools needed to analyze the data, and help improve process operations.